Hey, Ven, you ever realize how much stuff is getting rebooted as of late? I mean, like, there was the Bond reboot a couple of years ago. Now they're doing Robocop and Dread in one year? Seriously. Yeah, but, man, you know, those movies make a hell of a lot of money. In fact... Don't do it. The new Linux Gamecast. Think about it. Sleeker, sexier, and more ponies. There need to, um, be some changes, though. Jeez. Oh, Obviously, you would need to go. That coveted 18 to 35 demographic isn't sated by, well, to be honest with you, Jordan, an overweight nerd. We need a sexy female sidekick that'll be nerd-friendly. I wonder if, um, Tia Carrera is available. Coming up on this Linux Gamecast Weekly, we announce our winners and Steam gets a case of the Banhammers, or do they? Also, Team Fortress 2 is running faster than ever, and Jordan gets a case of Vertigo. All this and more coming up on Linux Gamecast Weekly. Let's go. Welcome back to Linux Gamecast Weekly, your podcast that covers Linux gaming news, reviews, and basically whatever else we come up with. I'm Vin Stone, one of the co-hosts, always here, and this unfortunate gentleman seems to be tagging along. Jordan, how's it going? You've chained me to you. I have no choice but to follow you. That was the deal we made. It's starting to chafe. I think there's some green stuff coming out of the wounds. I gave you plenty of lube. Pl uh, uh, don't let this man lie to you. Tons of lube. <laughs> Shipped it all. Do you know how expensive it is to ship lube to Canada? Yeah. Oil-based lube. The bad stuff. We're on a budget. We're, let's just face it, man. But what have you been up to? I heard you got some new toys. Oh, yes. I, I went out to the store this week. And I braved the Black Friday crowd. You really went to the Black Friday bit. You went out and like physically, not online. I, I, I physically, I there were there were a couple in store only deals that I couldn't let up. They had freaking three terabyte drives for like seventy bucks a pop. You can't say no to that. Do it live. Do it live. Hell, I got and you know if I if if I didn't show up. I was, I, I was the guy who got the last of the three terabyte drives. If I had not shown up, those wouldn't be in my hands right now. And the guy, the guy, the guy behind, behind me you? was like looking all dejected. I had to laugh at him a little. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm not saying that was not cruel of you to do, but it was right. It was. I also picked up 32 gigs of RAM for a hundred bucks. That was pretty sweet. There's nothing wrong with that, man. I'm glad RAM is now once again cheap over here. At our home base, a um, couple of things have been going on. Linux yeah, games. I heard. I, I heard you had some problems with your balls. Well, balls explode, and I've had two balls explode in my entire life, and one exploded on me the other day. Uh, just bam! Fortunately, no worries, guys. The hardwood floor broke my fall, so you don't have to worry about that. But in there, there's there's a cartoonish Ven sized like crater on his floor. Yeah, I'm surprised at my old age of 31 being as resilient as I was, because I fully expected to wake up quite a broken man, and we're not talking about that first time you take home a lady man. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I resounded from that, and some fun stuff that's been going on. Minus a um, speculation and hype, I do realize that LinuxGameCast.com is looking a bit like Phronix did in 2011 with all the Steam news, but like I said, minus the speculation and hype. We got some good stories, but I also made a Steam category, just so you can filter that if you want to look at it, if you want to look at news, filter that bit 
out. And did you do anything for um Slaughter the Native? I mean, um, Thanksgiving Day? Do they have that in Canada? Oh, then you ignorant slut. Thanksgiving was last month. I thought that was Boxing Day. Nah, man. Thanksgiving in Canada is in October. Middle of October. Well, all I did, unfortunately, I packed up my fun car for the winter, but I did take um, my Magnum out. 79 Magnum, not one of these new pieces of crap. And drove around the motorway. Uh, motorway. Can't talk. Motorway. 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 Mm, more power. <sighs> Just because it's very apocalyptic, uh, being the only one out there. And I was like, hmm, let's see some zombies. But it was a bit of fun. I didn't, you know, it definitely kept me from getting a proper speeding ticket, not having the fun car out and being packed away. So, I guess we probably need to do that thing we do, man. What do we do? We talk about Linux gaming news, reviews, and previews. And whatever. But we got, we, we got, we got, we got some, we got a slice of news from raspberrypi.org. A slice of pie? A slice of pie-related news. I was trying to go for that, but ah, whatever. Yeah. So, um, they got they got Minecraft Pocket Edition running on the Pi finally, where's or as this... I like to call it, Minecraft. Why don't you tell them about it, Ben? Well, where's this coming from, man? I just said RaspberryPi.org. Oh, I didn't catch that. Does Minecraft? Well, does it run Minecraft? I mean, everything. <coughs> runs Minecraft, apparently including toasters, and by toasters I mean a Raspberry Pi. It does now, and you'll be able to download and play it yourself very soon. Now, looking at our little bits of notes, it seems that those critters sent a bunch of um, pies over to Notch and the guys at Mojang. And mm -hmm. it looks like it's a pocket edition yeah, there. It looks like they ported Minecraft. I call it Minecraft, not out of any real hate for the game, but because you played on the crapper. The, uh, the 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 commercial for the ad they put out for Minecraft Pocket Edition had like this epic intro, and then it zooms out, and there's this guy on the toilet just playing Minecraft on his phone. I think that's a cool thing, man. I, it's also important to know that it's going to be free, right? Oh yeah, free. Do you think, um, Reason. as somebody, being you, Jordan, who's developed some stuff for and worked with the Raspberry Pi project, do you think we'll see some um, other games coming, or is the hardware just too limited at this point? The you could so you can squeeze some surprising things out of the hardware, and now now that the um, now that the user space end of the uh, the Raspberry Pi GPU has been opened up. I think we might see a couple more games coming down the pipe for the Raspi. Um, but the 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 deal is though you gotta comp you have to make sure your games will compile for ARM, and that's where something like a Java virtual machine comes in. And actually, I was surprised with Java performance on the Pi. But anyways, um, yeah, I, I I hope there are more games coming down the line for the Pi. I know at the Fedora project we've ported a bunch of them over. I don't know how well they actually run, but. Well, I'm looking forward to that, but up next we have something that is definitely in your court, and that is... I, I, I hear some buzzing in my ears. What is that yes. buzzing? Bumblebee. Any of you out there who have an Optimus-enabled computer know my pain quite well, that if you want to make use of the dedicated GPU on your laptop, you got to install Bumblebee Daemon. And Bumblebee has a couple issues. So these guys, and this story, by the way, is brought to you by Web Update with an 8 instead of ATE.org. Um, the guys at Primus uh, have a trick for you called, uh, well, Primus. Um, and it's, 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 an, it's a replacement for Opterun, which is the program you run to turn on Optimus support on Linux. And they have their own libgl.so that you compile and stick in a folder and they have a script that you run, and it does some library wizardry, and it it supposedly speeds up performance on um on your on your Optimus enabled laptop. 
Now, I hear that uh, you had some issues with uh, the Makefile running that with the Fedora. Yes, no, Makefile in general. I had, I actually had to look at the Arch user repo to figure out where the files are actually supposed to go. Um, or, And I could have actually looked inside the launch script because it's in there too. But anyways, if you want to get that up and running, you got to compile it twice. Uh, you gotta set your C plus. You gotta get your CPP flags to dash M32 for at least one of the compiles if you're running a 64-bit system. Otherwise, just run make and drop it in user lib or lib32 or wherever the hell your shared objects happen to reside. Create a folder called Nvidia dash Bumblebee and stick it in there. And Primus will work. And I was able to get it running with a few things, but it doesn't work with Team Fortress 2 just yet, even with the Optimus workaround. So there's still a bit of thunking I gotta do. But other than that... So you're saying it's possible it's just a bit tricksy at this point, right? It's a bit tricksy at this point. Then again, I fully admit I might be doing it wrong. I'm just looking at I'm looking at source code and trying to figure out where things go. So It will but definitely be touching on that later, I think. I'm kind of stupid like that. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll touch on Speaking of gaming, later. man, System76 has a little something for us, man. In the yes, form. it has a Bonobo Extreme. Extreme, and this comes extreme. in the form of 14.1, all the way up to 17.3, as I like to call it, expensive. Their new l gaming laptop, huge memory capacity, massive storage, and keyboard lights for dark... Then has some issues with the keyboard lights. Ooh, System 76, guys, um, what are you trying to say? Just because I run Linux and we do this entire podcast, this entire tool chain from start to finish on Linux, that I need special lights to soothe me because I have to spend all of my nights alone because nobody loves me because I only run Linux? Is that what you're trying to say, System76? Is well, it's saying? not just because you run Linux. It's for numerous other reasons. But I'm not saying any of that is inaccurate. I'm just saying, man. You're just saying. But, um, spacious click pad surface. Um, this does come with the third generation Intel Core i7 CPU 17.3 inch 1080p full definition as opposed to the half and quarter definition LED backlit. It comes with a pretty hefty GPU too. Yeah, that's the um, i7 gigabit which is nice. No, no, no. Not, not, not i7, man. The 70 oh, GPU. I thought you said CPU. GPU graphical processing Ooh, unit. Yes, that's something we should note. What are the options there? You got an option between uh, 670MX GeForce or uh, 680M. Honestly, I'm, I, I, I will, I, I'm not sure about the mobile space, but I know definitely in the desktop space, the 680 versus the 670, the, the, um, the performance gains are actually rather minor. So if you want to save yourself a couple shekels and feel like overclocking your GPU, just go with the 670MX. And definitely, but, I, I guess it's fair to say, anything NVIDIA instantly wins over anything ATI in our current... Not supporting various our... versions of X for no reason. Well, you know, because you, that's why. Because, yeah. yeah. So I heard I heard that your favorite... Uh, your favorite cloud service has come for Ubuntu. You may call it Quickster, Flickster, or whatever else they decide to call themselves next year. I still call them Netflix. And with the Ubuntu crowd, that's the mints and all that fun stuff, we do have a PPA for Netflix <laughs> on the desktop. And let's just be honest. Technically, it works. Automagically, it will download and install a patched version of Wine. Yes. It will automatically install the version of Civilite needed. It will also do that with whatever, but it's not a solution. Even on my system, it's rubbish. I mean, it, it jerks around more than Michael J. Fox, to be honest. Ooh, that's not nice. But it is available. Check it out at iheartunbuntu.com if you're sadist and... Michael J. Fox would appreciate the humor. There's no doubt in my mind. The J stands for genius. That's cool. I mean, basically, it just opens up in Firefox, and it runs, and it stutters like piss. 
proof of concept, Flickster, Quickster, whatever your name is, this week, um, guys, native client. Native client. Just, you know, kill anything, Elks. But, you know, we ha- it, it's time for our favorite segment of the show. And I'm going to throw week. it to you, man, because here it comes. Are you feeling it? Are you prepped up? It's oh, our prepped up. Steam Licks Update of the Week. Eek, eek, eek. I tried I try to do the Ginyu Force thing, but yeah, I, I, was, I was doing that, too. I immediately felt that. Um you, come on, you, you have to. It you, you just sort of fills you up. What do we have? But we we got we got some beta expansion. Five thousand people got added to the beta. I am not one of them. Boo earns, Valve. Boo earns. But you know, we it was something they did over the holiday weekend. They're going to add five thousand new people, which means that something is going incredibly well. A that they're doing, and B they were like, oh yeah, we'll just put another five thousand applicants in it. Yeah, just increase our take, increase the client base by like five. So what they said, this is from SteamCommunity.com. We're making good progress, finding and fixing issues, and I that our users have reported, so we're expanding the beta by 5,000. It's over 5,000. The long holiday U.S. Turkey Day, you know, slaughter Native Americans take over the land, all that fun stuff, kicks in. (coughs) New limited beta testers will have an email notification in their inbox. But at this point, Jordan, I have to ask you a question. Mind if I ask you a question? Sure, ask away, then. What's the advantage of being in the beta at this point well i was gonna say there's some fear going on about whether uh, valve is gonna start taking action at the people like me who want their linux steamy goodness but don't necessarily want to wait to get into the beta let's say we want and our so, steamy so goodness a, a, and we apparently hack some it. valve humans I, i'm kind of scared jordan if we You're hack scared. it what, what, what will happen will we get back what will happen well, according to our favorite subreddit, Linux underscore gaming, um, absolutely nothing. What do you uh, mean, absolutely Valve nothing? Hu- uh, Valve humans have said, go ahead and install, our, install your copy of Steam beta. We won't care. Now, this is something we touched on last week, and I think that we I- kind of came to the conclusion that it is just... Brilliant marketing on Steam Spot. Valve gives no flippity doos about whether, as long as you're using their product, they don't give a rat's ass. We're giving them free hand jobs, I guess, at the um, end of the day. And that's what we're doing, testing all this fun stuff out. And I don't think at any point, outside of the most neurotic person in the world, is still worried about getting a ban hammer. I wasn't worried when people started finding the workarounds. Valve is pretty cool like that. But you know what would be even more awesome, you know, with a Steam Linux If you could Linux play beta. some of the beta games like, on the hacked clients. Oh, wait, you can. What's that? What's that? Steam on Linux, Team Fortress 2 beta has launched for hacked Linux? Zong. Yeah. Damn it, you stole my thunder. I was going to do that. <laughs> Balls to you. Um, Balls this to comes you. from almost last week from LinuxGameCast.com, our site. You might want to check it out if you're listening to the podcast. This morning, Team Fortress 2 launched for everyone, and that includes everyone, including you, using the hacked beta client. A couple of things. Um, they didn't accidentally launch this. A lot of people was like, oh, well, this is part of the um, Ubuntu um, Developers Conference, um, UDC, where they added all those people and they made a misstep. Do you buy that for one minute? Absolutely not. But do I care? No. I get TF2 on my laptop. Same here. Just do a search for Team Fortress 2 from within if you, the Steam Club. If you, if you own the game, you can probably buy it on like the freaking autumn sale for Five bucks. It's a free game. You, you haven't had to buy TF2 for like Oh, right. Years. Yeah, that's right. I, 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 bought, I was one of those squares who bought the orange box twice. 
way back when one thing you do, I mean, it completely installs. Keep in mind, it's a 12 gigabyte download. But if you check out our show notes and just say, you know, some random sauce is going on and you happen to have a wine version or you happen to have it installed in a VM or on another box, there are instructions. Copy all your, just copy all your Team Fortress 2 GCFs over to the Steam apps folder in your home directory and restart Steam and you're off to the races. That's pretty much it, man. And you've had yeah. pretty good experience, except it needs, um, what, lib, um, txc, dxtn, i686, I'm guessing. Yeah. Off if the you, top if you're, of my If you're head. using a 64 bit system, you need a lib txc underscore dxtn, which might be something else in your particular distribution. That's what it is in Fedora. But you need the 32 bit package for that. Well, the it's only. Not too, it's trivial to install, yeah. but then everything just works. The only problem I've had with it is it, it can seem just a bit sluggish. But our friends at Linux Gaming seem to have a fix for that, don't they? They do our favorite subreddit strikes again. PSA, want a better frame rate in Team Fortress 2. Chris, DX, 9 frames works beautifully! Exclamation point. I even made a script to do it for you, and guess what? He did. He did. I'm always skeptical. Skeptical. I like that new word. Skeptical. Skeptical. Um, about things that claim performance increases by running a script. Are you not Jordan's way? Go. Well, if, if, if it works, it works. I haven't been, I haven't tested it yet just because I've been having some issues with my wrist this weekend. So no gaming for me. However, uh, then you seem to, you seem to, I no, am a convert. I, I tried it. Now I am running it on a 560 Ti and we went from anywhere between 60 frames indoor. Well, not indoor, outdoor about 60 frames. Indoor roughly about 80 to well over indoor 120 plus. It just smoothed everything out. Worth a try. That's great. Yeah, check that out in our show notes. I mean, there is no excuse not to try that. Jordan's going to give it a try. Once he gets done, I'm not wank. I mean, working on his carpal tunnel syndrome. Hey, hey, hey. It's not a wanking issue. It's my posture and keyboards are terrible. Yes. That. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's exactly it. So let's talk about some games, man. Let's talk about some McDroids. Some McDroids. This is also a little video we made at um, Linux Gamecast. The guys over at McDroid were kind enough to McDroid send us... McDroidGame.com McDroidGame. Send us a copy of their... How would you describe it? I described it as a tower defense bullet hell vampire. I can see where you would get that. Um, it's definitely a tower defense. You seem to like the little Tachikoma character. Well, you know, not so much I cared about the Tachikoma. It was that when that email came in, the lass has a huge gits issue. And you know what I mean when I say gits. If you don't know general public, that's ghost in the shell standalone complex. Sack. Sack. Git sack. So I just got corrected. I got out nerded. You got out nerded by someone who isn't even an anime fan. Uh, How does that make you feel, then? It makes me feel like I've been called Mr. Batu too many damn times in my life. Mr. Batu! Mr. Batu! Oh, man. I will Anyways, uh, tower defenses aren't really my thing, though. Uh, but it seems entertaining enough. Yeah, this that's, is a pretty cool game, man. Uh, it looks gorgeous, and it's running on the Unity engine, and I think that's something we're going to see a bit more of. I think you had a bit more to say about that, though. I did, but I'll save that till a bit later because we have a couple other Unity games to talk about. A couple of the Unity games. I do want to give this a fair shake. Definitely check this speaking, out speaking when it comes out. Hang on. We we got to oh. do, you know, seriously oh. point out this game's not out yet. It's not publicly available. It's ah, just an yeah. early copy, and Jordan got to play it. I got to play it. And double thanks to you guys for sending it. And anyone else who, you know, if you're working on something made out of pure awesome banjos and sauce. And. Send it our way. We'll Click check it out. Click that submit button at linuxgamecast.com. But Jordan's absolutely right. Up next, we have something else made of... Um... You, you, you and I are in a bit of a deadlock about who could take this one. Well, oh, 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 oh. 
how do we go about it? Well, I guess I'll just take it over. This is from deadlock-game.com, and it's a first-person shooter coded in Unity, and it looks like if, I don't know, Unreal Tournament and Tron got into a car accident, and that was the end result. Uh, no, they had to have babies. They had to have babies. It was it was, a, it was car accident <laughs> fornication. That's just that's all sorts of weird. The car it looks the, pretty. The cars were seriously, you know, like before that happened, they were thinking about doing it. They just didn't care about the humans. It was it was going to happen. Oh yeah. Wow. Hmm. Oh, wow. Go ahead. Uh, but anyways, um, I haven't. I have downloaded this game. I still haven't gotten a chance to play it yet. But it looks really good. And since it's Unity, it runs right out of the box. Yeah, I'm tempted to call it something, you know, it's a bit of a throwback, you know, a puzzle game, first-person shooter puzzle game. The first thing you're thinking about is Portal. Because mm. that is the first thing our minds reset to, especially in this time of, um, as you pointed out, um, Blade Runner-esque um, Tron-type universe. But this is a genuinely fun game. I'm not saying it's the most unique thing in the world. These guys are kind of awesome, though. They sent it to us. I'm five French guys. Not going to hold that against you. Five French guys. That sounds like the opening for a joke. And it sounds like a really interesting porn movie as well. But they're worth a look. There is an available download. They ported it. It's also running on Unity. Worth checking out. It's a bit challenging. It gets a lot harder than it looks. And it's gorgeous, which that yeah, is something looks damn pretty. I'm excited to see with um, a Unity 4 and that export ability. Indeed. I'm getting a bit dizzy, though, man. Oh, yeah, I, 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 can, I can tell why. Because of uh, ketonegames.com. Well, what about it, man? They have a game called Vertigo. The hell's Vertigo? I mean, I understand Vert what Vertigo is, but Vertigo is another game. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not. I think it's not Unity, but either way, uh, it's it's pretty fun. I I played a little bit of it. It it's kind of it kind of reminds me like visually of V V V V V V V V V V V V That that's indie gamer and, for hipster. And uh, it, I don't know the the level design kind of reminds me of I want to be the guy a bit. Those of you who haven't played I Want to Be the Guy, download that, run it in wine, and smash your head against your desk a million times as you die from everything. Though, uh, Vertigo is not nearly that hard. I got it. It reminded me a lot of, um, and yet it moves on a budget, and it reminded me of, v but apparently this came out before v did. Huh. Yeah. Which, well, you know, is something you read in the comments. You're like, maybe you want to talk to those guys about cloning it, your it, game. It's, it, it's like how Hydrox cookies came out before Oreos. Oh. Either way, definitely check this critter out. That's at ketonegames.com. But we need simulation in the form of W. Yes, we have our Press W simulator. This was a joke my friend made the other day, and I felt necessary. I felt it necessary to steal it. And this is from orgulhogeek.net. It's a site in Portuguese. Ooh, Portuguese. Porto. Yes, but I've actually played this on Windows, and Dear Esther is a very... It's not really a game. You kind of just wander around, and it looks pretty. And it's trippy and a bit creepy. But it's definitely worth checking out. People got pissed off because there are no guns and you don't. there's no puzzles to solve. Well, neither is Slender Man, but everyone loves that. So it's like Slender without the Slender Man. I guess, yeah. There, basically, what you, as, as you go through the island, like you start remembering more and more things in like the form of letters. It's interesting. I, I'm, I, I bought it, so I'm glad to see it's on Linux. So it's a happy but, fun time simulator. It, I'd say check it out. It's 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 definitely weird. it may not be everyone's taste, but give it a spin. Yeah, I'm definitely going to give that a look, especially when it rolls out on Steam, and it's easily going to be ported because I believe um, that's Unity as well. Am I correct in saying that? That I don't know. My Portuguese is bad, and because my 
Ah, uh, no, it's using it's using the source engine, but since that's por- getting ported to Steam anyways, or that's getting ported to Linux anyways. Hmm. Trivial, trivial, trivial. But I guess we need to wrap our contest up, since I know a lot of people oh, are no. watching. B- b- before we do that, we wanted to mention something about Unity. Okay, let's talk about that Unity. So, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're a couple weeks into the Steam beta now, and... Uh, I've noticed something is that um, over over all these various Linuxes, uh, a lot of these games run fairly well. So it gets me kind of curious: um, why hasn't this sort of happened already? And of course, it's because all the game programming classes in universities are t- using DirectX to teach their classes. But the it, it seems like the big complaint about Linux being so fractitious and how there are so many different. Mu- distributions out there hampering games that seems to be made out of sheer and utter crap i think it is sheer and utter crap and i think the biggest issue is these kids are brought up with a windows environment and all that fun stuff and what it's going to take is the engine developers to talk a toy it for them so they can click export linux that's what we're yes you 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 have something from i love ubuntu.net Desperate Gods ported in five minutes. You know, I did have that. That's a good thing to look up. Keep talking. <laughs> well, uh, g- given how easy Unity porting with Unity is, this is a video of these guys porting uh, Desperate Gods to Linux in all five minutes. You and hear that, Devs? You no longer have an excuse. From Wolfire Games, I believe. The game... Wolfire. Yeah. Fun stuff. And this is really all it takes. Um, Porting Desperate Gods to Linux. We start with bad audio from the video, because you should not have this. And... Let's see. Let's see if we can find it. No, it's, uh, it's porting right now. Ah, it's porting right now. Hmm. Almost done. Almost done. And he's. We need. We need. We need some fast forward music for this. He's going to kick over to his Linux VM in just a moment. Run the game, and there we go. Unity engine. Boom, Bob's your uncle, man. Bob is your dad. You uncle. no long devs, you no longer have an excuse. Get on that. So can we finally talk about the winners, man? I know they've suffered through so much already. Yeah. We 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 have our little we have our little contest. We do have a little bit of a contest, and we've carefully picked out um people using some pseudo scientific we- algorithm we- dice roll names in the hat. Honestly, bobbing for apples, bobbing for uncles. We just got they seriously pissed a couple of nights ago, you know, um, on Skype. <laughs> and he said, screw it. Yeah, I, I woke up and I found the name of the winner tra- tattooed on my lower back as a tramp stamp. So I got to get that removed. That's a trick I'm not going to tell the general public, but it is possible under the new version of Skype for Linux. So, who freaking, do we have? Freaking Microsoft. We did have a couple of respondents, and something I have learned is no one who knows about a contest will ever tell anyone else about said contest for good reasons. I understand your logic. In your yeah, it, it, it kind of makes sense in hindsight. <laughs> next time next time we'll make a bigger kerfuffle. Yeah, at least, much, 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 much to our listeners' chagrin, hoping for free stuff. I, I did post on um, our favorite subreddit, Lytics Gaming, yet again, plug... Um, today, finally, and I was like, alright guys, last chance, big push, and let's do this, but let's go ahead and scream off our winners and our big prize, because I know a lot of people are waiting for Series we, we, we should We should probably tell them first how to get in contact with us and claim your prize. Well, all you gotta do is send moi, Vin Stone, yep. the original post, send me a private message in the forums from your username that you posted with and if you did all that and cocked it up, shit on you. We'll find somebody else. Simple as that. Does that sound fair enough? Yeah. Uh, let, 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 let's. We should probably give him like. Uh, we should probably give him like a week's grace period. Uh, you have four days grace period. Four days. 
Hey, I was trying to be generous. Mm. He's he's the one who's saying, oh, I, yeah, I'm the hard is. ass. He's the loving man. So let's go ahead. I love you all. But uh, our Sterious Sam, Sterious Sam, Serious Sam. Yes. Before it's first that encounter time. winner is. Drum roll. Un. No, uh, Karnizov. 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 He is post 344, and I'm not going to bother looking it up because I can't be asked, but you, sir, just won a Steam key. Four. Sweet. You just won a crappy game. Jordan's favorite game. Karnizov. There we are. I. I you have some. Uh, you have some off class 64 errors. So hopefully you can play Serious Sam to bludgeon your consciousness into ignoring these Elf Class 64 errors. Looks like I had some um, decent hardware, but we also have some keys for... The Ensign One. Yeah, we Shut up, Wesley. Two keys. Oh, mm, damn, Wesley. So who gets those keys, Ben? You name one off, and I name the other one off. You go. You're well... Going. This this one fellow seems a bit unaccountable, but unaccounted for has won key number one, and he is post he's comment number three hundred and forty four. Comment three forty four, and we should note that these keys are for Desura, as will be the following ones. And, and you're running Fuduntu, so you're almost in a special place in my heart. Uh, almost. Almost. He doesn't love you like a real son, just. Not like a real son. Maybe like a red-headed stepchild who I'll like vaguely acknowledge. And but congratulations on Accounted For. Then who's our second winner? Our second winner doesn't need to be good because he's Johnny 2K. That's original, isn't it? Yes. Well, Commenter Johnny's number been 351. Good. What's he running? He is running a... He's running... On to 1210 32-bit with a 3.5 kernel. It looks like he's running some sort of i3 or i5. So he's uh, down with the Intel processors? With the Intel, a uh, genuine Intel processor. Mm. Um, that 2.9 megahertz, or, or 2.9 gigahertz, sorry. Um, yes, but congratulations, you won an Ensign 1 key. Now and we need to talk. Mr. Johnny 2K, if you ever call me a dog again, I will find you. And I will kill you. Because I'm Liam Neeson. I'll help him. But I'm not. Helena the Third, that's another game. But it's multiplayer. There's something you can play with your friends, your family, and. But these two winners can play with each other. Oh, they. There we go. We want to see some game casting from that. And our first one up since Jordan started off that last one. Is Ryan Comet three six six no pickup sticks for you? What's he running? Uh, um, if Firefox wants to work, <laughs> then, come on, you can do it. And I guess we should also point out he, he, he's running a Phenom two nine sixty five with a four sixty GTX and Ubuntu twelve ten, and yeah. I Ryan, think, congratulations. I think and that's cool. Also, like Ensign 1, Helena the Third features um, some of Brendan's earlier work, but now that we have the multiplayer, it's um, first-person shooter and side-scroller, which is fun. Indeed. But we got our next guy who gets this. We have key. our next guy, Mr. Pyro1 the one Aniac. Let's just call him Bob. 364. Bob. We'll just call and him he's, Bob. And he's running Arch! Arch! Arch. Arch! Arch! But you can enjoy Helena the Third on your Arch Linux, Mr. Pyrovaniac, with your i3 and your 3 gigs of RAM. I think that's and pretty cool, man. Indeed. Oh, you're, it looks like you're running ATI. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> no, I, 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 I really mean it. I wish you the no, best uh, of luck. No, no, Jordan, you need to explain to these people that just because you're running ATI and you hear all these rumors and horrible things about it, rest assured, it's absolutely 100% as bad as it sounds. It's true. Still is to this but, day. But, but we're Maniac, you are a far braver man than I. I salute you. 
we are going to wrap this show up and kick into the after show. But before we do that, we always do this shameless plug because we shameless are... Shameless plug. We got, we, we got to get paid. So Man check out our RSS feeds. We got RSS feeds for iTunes, Video SD, Audio, Audio HD, Video HD, all that fun stuff, and a YouTube did we, channel. Did we, did we ever get the Zoom feed in? Not quite yet, but you can find us at ah. youtube.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. Also, or definitely check us out at linuxgamecast.com. Under the about section, amazon.com affiliate link. That's very important, man. If you're ever shopping for anything, click on that link. We get a bit of the taste. Doesn't cost you anything. No filling out anything. But if you're the filling out of things type of person, here's and you a, just want to give us some money, make a donation with PayPal. Just a few shackles, you know, kick it our way. We'll definitely throw it right back into the show. We'll get some more keys and we'll have some more retarded contests like we do. Look at this no. man. That's the man. Yeah. That's the face of the man who likes to have a retarded contest. If I ever saw one. And here I am. But speaking of me, I am Vin Stone at Vin Stone on the Twitter nets and plus Vin Stone on the G pluses. And this guy, I'm not even going to try his name. I know. I'm Jordan Swung and I'm at the Burning Fool on the Twitters or I'm at plus Jordan Swung on the Google Plus. If you're curious how to actually pronounce my last name. He always mispronounces his last name. He's a bit thick, but I am. Thank you guys Don't for know my own watching name. us and stick around with the after show if you're a brave soul because there's tons of spoilers and horrible things about to happen. It's, it's a BSG themed episode. Uh, oh, and BSG type stuff. Say goodbye to yeah. the lovely people, sir. Goodbye to the lovely people, sir. Morning, you're about to witness a spoilerific episode of, well, did I say episode? I meant after show because that's what you're in for. You've watched the pre-show. It's time for the after show, not the after after show, because that's just nasty business. But I give you fair warning. So will Jordan, BSG, Blood and Chrome. Spoilers coming up next. And welcome back to the Linux Gamecast after show where we discuss horrible, horrible, spoilery things and swear an obscene amount. And with me, as always, is Ven Stone. I'm Jordan Spung. Um, and we're going to talk about Battlestar Galactica. Blood I'm Ven Stone, and this is Ven Stone. And that, yeah, nothing related to Linux. I mean, you're in some weird zone this probably the, at the end this of the is, video. This, this is the Thunderdome. Mm. So I think last week we touched on Blood and Chrome, didn't we? Oh, man, the new episode of Blood and Chrome came out. And then when I saw that to be continued, I was like, fuck. Man, I can't wait till next week. That's what I said about last week when I watched the first, then second episode. And you slam into that virtual wall and you're like, nope, not cool, guys. Oh, uh, okay, they need to make this thing into a series. I don't give a, I don't give a shit. This thing, I need, I need to know where this thing goes. This is just way too good for a pilot. Wait, uh, the story is too good, and I get where you're coming from, because I did pay a bit more, you know, with the minor organ this week about the special effects, and it's all your fault, because I was digging them to begin with, but now I'm looking at them. <laughs> I, you know, you know what, I actually like, I, I like the dog fight in this, in the last episode. I thought that was the highlight of the entire, uh, the entire episode. Yeah, you know, this is like off the bat, man, blowing the nukes. Oh, that thing was awesome when the, the, the when the ship is charging the base star and the base star nukes it and the ship just goes completely off course. We had to wait does. like six years for a battle star to ram a base. Was it a base star? Or what are they? Base called? star. Yeah, and we get this in what five episodes? Oh man. I, I, every the more I watch the show, the more I'm so pissed off that Cefi did not option this. But do you know what I got hopes for, man? You want to really just like in that little thing right in, in, there, in in that in that bleak black hole of yours that you call the heart. I. What if HBO buys it? Ooh, that 
No, but that means that means that that means that everyone's gonna have to pirate it if they don't live in the states. What if HBO buys it? Okay, yeah, then then I mean that's just nerdgasm right there. I mean, we get Full Metal, or even they're not Showtime because they really cocked up Torchwood. I'll never forgive them for that. Wasn't wasn't that Stars that did uh, Torchwood? It might have been Stars. You're right. I, I, it, it was Showtime. Stars. I'm sure you've cocked something else up that I'm just forgetting about right now that I have residual hate for. But yes, Stars <laughs> is fully deserving of. I'm cocking up Torchwood. Apparently, Stars did re- made up really well with uh, with uh, Spartacus, though. I still have to watch Spartacus. Yeah, you know, I watched like the first quarter of that first episode years back, whenever that came out, and I was like, yeah, I don't like the the blood effects, man. It's not really the story. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyways, I but I hear I'm, good, I'm, I'm, I hear good I'm, things. I hear good things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Plus, you get to see Lu- Lucy Lawless get hammered a bunch, so. And hammered? by hammered, I mean taken like, from behind. Oh, okay. hammered, 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 hammered. No. Mm. Right. No. To be to be to be so eloquent. But yes. Um, how, how is she holding up? I mean, it's been like a decade since I've seen. Her. I don't know. She looked pretty good in uh, BSG, but she wasn't supposed to be sexed up at all. So. Mm. I don't know. I'm, I'm Lucy Lawless. I imagine is aging as well as Lucy Lawless can age. I wonder, you know, since we did bring that up, how well Tia Carrera is aging. Because she was getting on in years, man. Yeah, no, the, re- the reason I threw Tia Carrera into the opening sketch was I'm like, what is what would be, like, a sufficiently old, hot girl who was, like, in with the nerds? Dream Weaver. I believe I can get me through the night. Yeah. Man, I butchered those lyrics. But anyways, Wayne's World was awesome. King Tenille's recipe. Oh, secret. Tia secret. Carrera looked damn good in those movies, I'll say that. So Yeah, she's turbo hot, man, but unfortunately, you know, Asian women just turned me off, so It says the man who's dating a Vietnamese woman. Anyways. Well, I guess that actually makes total sense. That, that's why I'm I'm joining the priesthood. I'm gonna become a Catholic priest. Oh, so you can just touch little boys. Ugh, I didn't think about. It. Do you have to touch little boys being a priest? I, I, I think that's actually required. It's like that's it's bullocks, like part of the hazing. You, you, you have to like pick up a little boy oh, in between your butt cheeks and I carry him uh, a certain amount of length. I didn't think about that. Is there like a sect of Catholicism? Even the Galgamex, do they still have to molest boys? Because I'm not into that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna say yes because why not? Yeah. I'm if if we're making broad generalizations, let's just. Go in for a penny, in for a pound. <sighs> Maybe I can consult the highest power and we can work something out. Maybe the green awesome. spider is available. So, you know what I did finish watching, and I mean did finish watching after so many um, months of months? What did you watch? The goddamn Batman. Now, which goddamn Batman? Because you're very unspecific in the show notes. Because... Mm. For some people, the last Batman movie could have been the Joel Schumacher one. No, this was the last, as it was publicized, the last goddamn Batman. Movie theater film for theaters. Movie theater. Hey, they released Batman and Robin in theaters. But anyways, you're talking about The Dark Knight Rises. The Dark Knight Rises, man. Um, I watched almost all of it, and my ability to sit through the movie, and I went to the movie twice to try to watch it, and I finally finished it. And? What did you think? Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I felt it was an adequate conclusion to Nolan's trilogy. I think it wasn't as strong as the first two movies, but that didn't harm my enjoyment of it at all. I didn't dislike it. I thought it was a bit long. They could have done without that first part. But at the very end, I just looked at Nolan through, you know, quantum mechanics itself into his soul. And I said, don't you even think about doing that for your next movie. Uh, what, what, do we know what Nolan's next movie is? I know, he, I know he's like, he has like an executive producer credit on the new Superman movie. But I think he's just throwing his name behind it to give it some credibility. I don't think he, I, I think it's like Tarantino and the Man with the Iron Fists. 
They're only tangentially related. You know, I didn't even bring this up. Um, there were some uh, stills from the latest Akira live-action movie. I saw that. I saw that. White Tetsuo. Yeah, I'm going to have to bring that up. It's going to take me a moment, so I'm just going to put the screen on you. And you've seen Akira, right? I've so seen far, Akira. Human. I'm not necessarily the biggest Akira fan. I can, I can, I can recognize why it's important. That's because you're too young. Well, and that I'm not Japanese either. Like, I, th that movie is like so full of Japanese specific context that just as a white person, I will not get it just because I'm not raised in that context. But hey, look, we anyways. Ven is. Ven is totally a Japanese person. I, I am so well, not and, 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 turning in that he lived ways. in Japan yes. and I didn't. You, you, you should try it. I don't know. You, you, if you, you ever really want to I mean. embrace an entire xenophobic culture, <laughs> Japan, that's a good place to do it. Not that I Japan. stood out. Mm -mm. He's big in Japan. Mm. But, yeah, this is from IO9, un, Unused Akira Concept, Art Reveals White Canada. That's racist. Mm. I don't know, man. I really don't know. But, you know, it could be worse. Seriously, whitewashing Akira is a stupid idea. You know, I don't think. And, uh, well, oh, by the way, guys, if you look at that really hack editing job, that's because something just went down, didn't it, man? Yes, yes. My ISP just decided no internet for you, Jordan. This told you to sock its big floppy wing, didn't it? It did, and because of that, we have to do a crappy editing job. But you know what? At least it's not Linux that's not working this time. Yeah. Um, this is like one ginormous experiment, and as something I was saying right before we restarted the recording was, seriously, if it wasn't for like these catastrophic things that happen every single episode, I wouldn't be inspired to do it. Ven is it's it's a it's a challenge to Ven's manhood. I'm one of those crazy people. But Akira yeah. being whitewashed, man, you never really got a big deal on, you know, you didn't get a chubby about Akira when you first saw it. Huh? When I when I first thought that it was going to be a live action? No, no, when, no. When, like, when, like when, said, when you first saw I, Akira, that was not necessarily I, my introduction to anime, but that was the first time I said, oh, that's an art form. Uh, I remember watching Akira on, like, I think I might have convinced my mom to rent it. And I think I was a bit too young for that. And yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't know, man. Um, I, I, I respect what Akira is. I don't necessarily like Akira. Blew my fucking mind at the time. And then again, I mean, it was an old movie when I first watched it, and I was a teenager, so we're talking mid to late nineties. Mm-hmm. Um. Like I said, that was, I was like, fuck all, seriously, this, this is a movie, this isn't a cartoon. Well, it, 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 it's showing that cartoons can be serious movies. I think that's, uh, I, that, that, that's a subject for another rant, but the fact that, like, the Academy and, like, awards bodies don't really pay attention to cartoons and animation... Because a lot of times there's a lot more talent that goes into them than like live action shows. Well, but but anyway, some attention. I mean, they're thinking about doing a live action version. Hollywood starring white people. Listen, Hollywood, um, you're doing this. Do it. Do it right. You need to only Tatsuo and Kaneda, Nick Cage. Keanu Reeves. That's all I need. Oh, then get to film. Then you, you ignorant slut. Explain. You ignorance. Oh, it's because of your Nicolas Cage thing. No, no. 
Honestly, I, I, I think this whole idea of casting white people Asian Asian roles is dumb. I mean, like, the, the, the only place where it's not dumb is in something like Cloud Atlas. I was about to go, of... you remember last week when you were saying, that's a brilliant idea, and it's all fun and shit, right? But, no, oh, okay, Cloud Atlas is completely different, because the idea is that it's, like, a very concentrated cast playing multiple characters. That was the point of the movie. It was supposed to be a visual metaphor for reincarnation. But you could have... Tatsuo! Then you get up. Oh my god, the bees! Hot the bees! Okay, while I admit some of the more hammy dialogue in Akira would sound awesome coming out of the jowls of Nicolas Cage, I still gotta lay my foot down. Well, you know, honestly, with your freakish foot lowing ability, which I have no ability to lay my foot down, explain. Mm-hmm. Sorry, what? Mm -hmm. Sorry, so, something came up on the other screen that outright clearly distracted me. Uh, say that again. I said, with your freakish, newfound foot-laying abilities, explain. Explain. Okay, and go back to the man with the iron fist. I was ecstatic that it was a kung fu movie made in the States starring mostly Asian actors. It, like, friggin' minority actors are so ridiculously underrepresented. I am sick and tired of going to movies and seeing nothing but white people. Why do you hate Asian people so much? Why do I hate Asian people so much? That I, Is it because I, they're not, not Jewish? I mean, that's it, isn't it? That it, 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 You weren't listening to a thing I just said, did. Whatever. But you freaking trolly McTrollstein. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on to you. I'm on to you. Damn you, I've been figured out. <laughs> Do not feed the trolls. But like I said, I'm 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 t I'm tired of looking at white people in the cinema. It's the same actors again and again and again. And if my biggest complaint with Hollywood is the lack of originality or and and like the freaking whitewash casting. Come on. Let 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 let's see some non-white people. In rules. Yeah, but you got to remember that Hollywood has is like it is a. Like, hey, you remember the seventies when we did black exploitation? We don't do that anymore. We just call them um, something else, and we still do it. <sighs> Big Mama's house. Ah, oh, Big Mama's house. Oh, I saw that in theaters. Oh. You're dead to me now. I was what, like eight years old at the time. Cut me some slack. You know, I did see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, Turtles in Time, in theater, and uh, thinking about getting, what's his name, Donatello's voice, Koi Filmin, back for the new live-action version. Can he still do the voice, though? I don't know, as his balls dropped. That, that, that's really the only thing I care about, is if they can get the voice right, then why not? He wasn't the voice in the second one, though. He was only in the first and third. I th wasn't he also in the cartoon as well? That's a fair question. Did you ever continue? I kind of skipped out on that new CGI. No, no, no. I, I, I meant the old cartoon. No, I mean the old cartoon too. I was um, kind oh. of jumping as I ah remember. leaping, prancing as I like to prancing. call it in a more manly way. It's called prancing. 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 Say it in the prop of vernacular human. Prance. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't keep up with it. Did you? Uh, I, I didn't, because I, I, at that point I was watching enough stuff that adding one more thing was kind of a bit overboard. Um, Outside of Blood and Chrome, what else have you been watching, man? Outside of Blood and Chrome, what, what have else you have been, been watching? watching? Nothing really. But um, I, I saw mean, Lincoln. Lincoln was good. Outside of the, I mean, it's Jordan amputee midget porn, right up there. But outside of that, outside, outside of that, I, I I did watch Lincoln. Lincoln was pretty good. Um, 
There was there, horribly there, 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 historically there was, like, inaccurate. There was, no vampires, right? No vampires. No, no, no. Just regular Lincoln. There was this great scene though. It was absolutely hilarious. Where there, there, the the movie, the movie is about the Thirteenth Amendment, and um, and there's this one scene where fucking Rorschach. No, it wasn't Rorschach. It was Rorschach was in that movie though, but uh, it was it was another actor. Oh, um, oh. Speaking of Rorschach, you're trapped in here with me. You ever notice that you're doing a slow clap for yourself? Yeah, he just did, didn't he? Let's see where he goes from here. Because so, I'll have control of the video editor. <laughs> you have control of the video. Oh, fuck you, you freaking fucking fuck, fuck. Um, no, but uh, there, there's this scene where like they're debating the implications of like freeing slaves. And making slavery illegal, and 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 the one Democrat guy is like the the head of the Democrats is like, do we really want? Bla- uh, and, uh, I'm 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 not gonna I'm not gonna say the N word for fear of dis dis. I don't know, putting off some of our some of our black viewers. Honestly, I think I think no, I'm pretty sure dumb. John it's would not be okay with it. But go ahead. Either, either, either way. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say it. Just that the internet doesn't have a clip of me saying the word. But anyways, it, as, as a side note, I completely. John, agree with you owe me six dollars for this. No, go ahead. John, you owe me seven dollars for this. It, it, it's stupid because Fuck. the more we make the word taboo, the more power it has. But anyways, so he's going on. The the Democrat guy is going on about how oh, if we give the black people, if we make black people free, then what's next? We have to enfranchise them. And after that, what's that? Women voters? And everyone just, like, freaking gets up and starts going, Boo! Boo! Ah! I found that absolutely hilarious. He was like, black people, like, that's terrible. Women voters? No! No! Ah! Ah! Oh! And one thing I find hilarious is if you learn about American history is the Republican Party was formed to get rid of slavery. Yes. And how it's, it's, it's kind of weird it, over how the next couple hundred years that kind of got turned around. Yeah, and then got a bit mental, man. That's why I always, you know, I, I can't legally but, vote in this country, but I always like to point out that, you know, don't vote Democrat or Republican because that thing's, you know, they, they change, man. And they change, man. Think, ooh, it'll blow your mind. Vote on the issues, yeah. not on um talking heads like this guy. He'll talk. Look, he's a head. I am a head. Whoa. I ain't got nobody, and nobody cares. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. And good. for the three of you who get that reference, congratulations. It gotcha. was not me, so strike that down to two. Anyways. Um, but yeah, it was a really good movie. I love Tommy Lee Jones's character. Because every time he gets in an argument with someone, he just completely verbally dominates them. Tommy it's Lee Jones is like Nick Cage. Of course, it's a good movie if he's in it. And Tommy Lee Jones is terrific in that movie. I don't know why Joseph Gordon-Levitt's in there, because he's in everything. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, it was a... Pr- the, my one... Be- my one beef was it, with it is including Lincoln's death. Because, I mean, seriously, spoiler alert, Lincoln dies in the end. This is a well-known fact of history. Fuck you, you Jordan. Don't need to uh, show. Man, all right, I thought, wait, you mean Lincoln was a real character? Lincoln was a real person. Isn't that just shocking? I, I thought he was just like in the movies. But anyways, um, I hate the fact that they had to, like, there, there was a perfectly good ending point in the movie, but they, they, they had to tack on a scene, and it felt so tacked on, where there's like a play going on, and someone runs out, it's like President Lincoln's been shot at Ford's Theater, ah! and, um, why do you need to include it? We know that Lincoln dies. It, it has to be in every every time Lincoln is mentioned in pop culture, it is immediately brought up that he was assassinated. Do you know why? I'll tell you why. Because the same reason stupid. they need it. 
the same people that made that movie went, oh, look how well Titanic did. Anyways, it's definitely going to win a couple Oscars for sure. Daniel Day-Lewis is pretty good. Um, like the, the, the entire movie is exceptionally well done. It's crafted to be Oscar bait. There's that winning formula that, of course, they have to use. I mean, unfortunately, so, it wasn't in my um, movie draft for this year. But a few of you... It's, 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 it's a bit of a latecomer, but... I hear good things. I hear, I hear good things. I You know what? If you're if you're out on a Tuesday night and you're bored, give it a watch. Hmm. One thing I didn't bring up, I didn't tell you about my um table hunt of um stabbiness. Your table hunt of stabbiness. Cable this sounds hunt. incredibly table hunt yeah. of stabbiness. This sounds incredibly entertaining. Do you tell? Well, when I first bought this particular cable, I was thinking five fucking dollar milkshake. And you get that reference, right? Five dollar milkshake. This better be the best milkshake if it's costing five dollars. Better be that, uh, you know, I need a cable to go from yeah to yeah. And you, you're going to charge me fifteen dollars for the cable. All right. It better be amazing. This is the cable in question. 3.5 to dual RCA for mm-hmm. a CD out on a mixer. And to be fair, when I got it, I said, no, nah, it's decently well built. But it developed mm-hmm. some static to it. And I spent the better part of the day trying to track down what the static was, and it turns out to be this piece of shit. Mm. Well, you paid five bucks for it, so can you really complain? No, I paid fifteen dollars for. It. Oh, you paid fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. At that point, at, at that point, I'd complain. Well, it lasted a year, but I went ahead and took the Pepsi challenge, and oh, bought a oh, no. thirty-five dollar cable. Oh no! And? and that's what we're using right now, and that's why the audio from the last two weeks has been a lot. Cleaner. Mm-hmm. So maybe we'll on crappy cables. Send this to you in the post if anybody wants a part of Linux Gamecast history. History. Uh, um, this recorded. We'll put it on eBay. Year. <laughs> yes. Along with um, what are you going to? Uh, he'll lick it. I'll send it to him, and he'll lick it. Uh, you, 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 I'll, I'll give you a vial of DNA. But I won't tell you what kind of DNA, so I'll let that be a surprise. It's a jar of mystery fluid from Jordan. It's a ghost. I But hopefully our listeners aren't afraid of no ghosts, because they know who to call. Oh, man, I hope that movie never gets made. Ghostbusters was already made. It was great. I loved it. You know what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're talking about, Ben. Bill Murray has already rejected the script for Ghostbusters 3. Do you remember that one Ghostbusters cartoon where it was, like, the college or the high school kids? And, like, the original Ghostbusters were, like, their mentors or something? Is that something they only had in Canada? I don't know. I remember watching it in Canada. I don't recall if it was on an American channel or not. Uh, um, but anyways, um, what is next on our block of chopping? I don't know. I just got the video on you because I'm reloading my pipe. Aha. Uh-huh. Well, um, oh yeah, Ven, apparently you want to rant about South Park. I don't really want to rant about it, but... You're I don't really want to start a rant, but I'm just going to rant anyways. Me to switch video. Switch quickly. it to him so I can reload my pipe. Cock Um Yeah. You know, I never finished watching the series finale of South Park, and I'm starting to worry about it, much like I lost The Simpsons and I've lost The Family Guy, simply due to disinterest. And you were talking last week, and we always, 
very topical episode, and I think maybe that's something that is fucking hurting South Park is being so topical, because one thing I enjoy is going back and watching the old episodes, which are timeless. It doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter that they were made 15 years ago. They're still fucking funny because they're not dealing with the fuck all just happened in current news as you choke. That's what you get for trying to smoke a weasel. A weasel? Anyways. Um, I, don't, I don't know. There, there, there are some current event based South Park episodes I really liked. The Passion of the Jew. That was hilarious. The past four years have all been current event South Parks. And you gotta look at it, I mean, from the perspective of being able to rewatch it, and l- less you know your internet history and memes and all that fun stuff, and just political and all that fun stuff, you can't go back and rewatch them. They have no rewatch value unless you know all that crap. Yeah, I guess. But the, the, the fact of the matter is, I do have the memory for that kind of stuff. So, I mean... I do remember all the internet references, and I do remember all remember all the political goings on that they're making fun of. Mm. So I, for me, that's not that much of a big deal. I think it's a big deal for the long run because I don't think I'll ever go back and you know, thirty years from now, go hmm, let's see what's going on. I was like, oh yes, I remember that. I'm going. To, I'm going to be that mindset. I was like, "Why were they so topical? Why can't they just come up with good original humor like they used to? They didn't have to relate to what was going on." <sighs> to a degree, they always did that, though. Uh, they didn't use it as okay. New South Park. They're going to attack some new thing. And I mean, to be fair, like their their episode turnaround now is less than a week. Like, from when something happens to when they go to air... Is entirely their choice at this point in their lives, and that's entirely their choice. Yeah. You know, I, I, I had this discussion with a friend of mine years ago about how, like, it would, be, it would actually be kind of nice if South Park kind of got off Comedy Central and just did, like, a webcast of South Park episodes. And I, I mean, then I don't know. I don't know how much of this is studio mandated. I don't know how much of it is uh, just them running out of ideas. But I think it would be neat if they were like free from a network and able to say and do whatever the hell they wanted to. Well, you know, it's been a while since we've seen anything terribly creative from the guys. And um, but then in maybe, all maybe, fairness, maybe that's what they need. Maybe th- there's some stuff that. Comedy Central will let them... Comedy hear. Central writes... They don't even write them a check. They just hand them one and say, Here, how much you need? Because, you know, like all things on the non-interwebs, they're in the business of selling commercials and South Park sells commercials. Do you know something that we're going to start doing, though, that is going to have What to, are we going to start doing? We're going to do some kind of neat, man. What are we going to do? What are we going to do, Bryn? Mm. You've been wanting to do a pinky in the brain reference for so long, I finally threw you a bone. What are we going to do, Brain? The same thing we do every night. What are you, Bane? Pinky in the Bane? God damn it, Batman. God damn it. When this lab is in ashes, then I will let you die. You know, as somebody who massages audio constantly, um, that was very obvious that they went back and redid all the audio for Bane. Of course they did, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to understand a damn thing he was saying. Mm. That voice was pretty epic, though. It did not match him at all. Yeah. I think that's. I, I think that actually kind of helped the movie. Here's some things we're going to be doing. You know we have a Twitch.tv channel, right? We do. Yes, me and you, we have one. We do. You've brought it up, maybe not on air, but at some point. And so, I have the technology here to broadcast us playing games. Some games, eh? 
and I hear that the kids would like to watch us play these games. See, now that you're trying, you don't sound anything like Ow. Bane. But anyways, yes, apparently the kids would love it. So maybe, maybe sometime we'll stream some Team Fortress 2 or some... No, I mean, seriously, was, we oh. really should because I just bought Trine 2. Oh, Trine 2 would be fun, yeah. Yeah, and I've played two minutes of it, so I think it would be a very epic adventure where I could take, you know, my head here and Jordan's head, yeah, and then yeah. the game there, and it'll all be a big streaming adventure. It's big streaming adventure. Where Jordan calls me naughty words for not knowing how to play the game. No, no, you stupid fuck! You jump up there! There! Make the box! Make the box! Well, it won't That's work. It. Right. I mean, you gotta get a headset and scream faggot for, like, no, three hours. No, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't scream faggot. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm above the age of 12. Mm -hmm. Well, we just lost our Xbox audience, man. Oh, yes. The, 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 the legions of mm -hmm. Xbox using Linux runners. That actually sounds like a pretty awesome team. I kind of want to join that now. Kind of sounds like a band name, to be honest with you. It does. That's what our band should be. You got the guitar, I got the bass. We need a drummer. Maybe Brandon plays drums. Yeah, some weird chemistry always works out. I end up with a bass player. Of course, that's how it goes. That's just the method to our madness. So I think that's probably going to round us out. Do you got anything else, man? We're getting kind of flat. Yes. Um, hey, 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 smoke weed every day. Yes. Or no, don't do that. Unless unless you're in Washington, D.C. or Colorado. Where it's legal, at which, at, at, at which point, my suggestion to you is to smoke weed every day. Well, enjoy it while it lasts. Um, But uh, yeah, I think that wraps things up. No, I think Except it's awesome. It's done wonders for your appetite. Aha. Uh -huh. Funny guy. Funny, uh -huh. funny guy. Uh -huh. But you can check us out at LinuxGameCast.com where you got the SDHD you iTunes. Got that somewhere, audio somewhere, feeds. somewhere. Oh, you somewhere. bastard. You just want to jump right to it and make me scramble. Fuck you. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. Here we go, LinuxGameCast.com. We got everything going on. Check out our categories news. Steam, Linux Gamecast Weekly. That's what you're watching. How to, Android How to, sorely mess updated, but still some cool stuff in there. And just our be real. That's just me capturing game footage. Oh, I didn't mention about our new game capture software. What's our new game capture software? Oh, I like this Wii thing being thrown in all of a sudden. Fine, what's your new game capture software, Mr. Smarty McSmart Smart? Well, I guess it's ours all of a sudden now, so... Um, well, this is the Linux Gamecast Weekly Collective. I don't know, tell us what the damn software is. Been having some problems getting the hooks of GLC into the um, steamy McSteaminess. So what are we using now? We're using something I've been working on, and you've heard me pissed and moan and scream about what type of fascist assholes um the guys over at um, FFmpeg are, I believe, maybe once twice. Yes, fascists. So we kind of branched it and we're kind of doing our own thing. And uh, let's see, here's our be real. Um, is is it? Do you call it FFmpeg? No, I haven't come up with like a. There is your name, FF Venpeg. Recalculous name for it, but it has all of the goodness of GLC with most of the overhead associated with GLC. But we can record Steam games now. Yeah. And when I mean record Steam games, I mean record them. I don't mean. I mean, this is some very, uh, you were, you're thinking like, oh, what about Vengeance? You know, what we're using right now under what Linux to record. Of yeah, basically. I mean, calling it software, whew, that's a stretch. 
that is this is like another project I'm working on. Ben it, keeps busy. It works. It works. Um, I'm not saying it works, Gordon. It works all the time. We're living proof of my inability to write a damn thing. But here we are, and I guess it's not your lucky day. But hopefully this will come out in short order so everybody can get some decent frame grams and um, video on the tubes. But let's run this tubes. bitch down because he is... Jordan Swung at Burning Fool and plus Jordan Swung, and he is the guy who probably did your mother at least thrice. Vin Stone at Vin Stone plus Vin Stone on the G plus, and that about wraps it up. If you're not shell shocked, check us out next week and Jordan's going to make a funny face when I switch over to him and now.